Hey guys, Mixpiration here. So today's video is, as you guessed it, how I meal prep keto. So first things first, hair up, jewelry off. All right, you guys, we are ready and steady. Let's go. Just kidding. Uh, well, not just kidding. You guys, like I said in my previous videos, do your research, okay? It is important. I am not a know-it-all. I am going based off the knowledge that I learn. And I don't know everything about keto. I know the basics. We know the basics. You're going to be able to better apply them. So with that said, do your research. Also, make sure if you're doing keto, it is okay for you, meaning you checked in with your doctor. Keto, a lot of people think, oh, you only eat fats, meats, and you don't eat that much. On the contrary, yes, we do eat fats. Yes, we have meat, but the big bulk of the, the two has to be the fats because what we're doing or what our bodies are doing is instead of taking carbs as a fuel source to burn for energy, it's now taking our fat and using that as a fuel source. So we obviously have to refuel our fuel sources in order for it to keep going. Make sense? Okay. If you wanna implement intermittent fasting, how are you gonna do it? What's going to be your window of time of when you're going to eat it? When are you going to eat? So quick crash course in intermittent fasting. You basically have a certain time frame, a certain window period in which you can eat and not eat. So for example, if I eat from 11 a.m. throughout the day, you know, whether it's snacks or meals till 8 p.m., that's my cutoff time. So from 8 p.m. to the next morning at 11 a.m., I do not have anything that's going to uh, have a reaction with my metabolism. So basically, I, I could have black coffee, I could have plain tea, I can have water, broth, those things that are not going to ignite the metabolism and make it start going. Because we don't want to do that. That's what we call breaking fasting, which is what you do when you eat your first meal at 11 a.m. But anyway, let's get to what we're gonna cook today. I'm excited. So I make this every week. This is, doesn't look appetizing now, but this is my chopped meat. So a few things, I prep this overnight just so all the flavors can really work themselves into the meat and be more flavorful. What I added in this mix was pink Himalayan salt, pepper, one medium large onion, chopped, red pepper flakes, three teaspoons of, um, teaspoons, not tablespoons, teaspoons. You could do tablespoons, whatever you want. It's your recipe. But keep in mind, certain things have carbs in them. The onions have carbs. The garlic has carbs. The, anything else? Nothing else has carbs in here except those two things. So just keep that in mind. Um, oh. So I added three teaspoons of garlic, minced garlic, and added some olive oil. Two other seasonings I've added to the meat were from the amazing Flavor God. This is their steak chop rub and their garlic lovers. These two, their whole line of seasonings are just incredible. They're having a great sale right now, and I'm not even joking. Like, these seasonings have changed up my food game. I don't care for regular spices anymore. I, if I don't have these, I'm not that excited. Like, of course, these are all natural. And let me tell you, and the majority of the seasonings are keto friendly. Of course, there's some that are not. So just keep in mind, uh, just keep in mind that if you go to their website and type in the search bar, keto it's gonna show you it's gonna select keto friendly seasonings for you so there you go the chopped meat with some zoodles i got these from stop and shop these are the green squash noodles from the fresh vegetables um i usually just rinse these and then i'll saute them in the pan for a few minutes you don't want to cook these too much because we'll overdo it um so i'm going to give it I'm gonna give these a quick rinse, throw them in the pan, I'll show you how I make them. Uh, last, I'm also gonna take some frozen veggies. Okay, now, you're gonna, gonna take your pan, you're gonna douse it in some olive oil. You're gonna coat the pan, right? 
You want to coat the pan so the whole pan has oil in it, right? You want your heat to be on around medium. So you're going to let that get hot for a second. What I did was I rinsed out, I rinsed my zoodles, right? Make sure your hand, make sure your hands are clean. Make sure your hands are clean, okay? So, we're gonna do that. We're gonna let it get a little bit warm, hot. Over here, since this light isn't, I mean, since this burner isn't on, we're gonna put it on slowly like this. I like to add spices. I think seasonings are great, and I'm gonna do that right now. So, I'm gonna add some red pepper flakes, my secret, shh. <laughs> I do red pepper flakes, red pepper flakes, pink Himalayan salt, and then towards the end, I add some lemon juice. So for me, I love pepper flakes, so I generously put it on. So what we're doing. And then we're tossing it. And we're gonna do this for a few minutes. Put some pink Himalayan salt. This is the one that I use. Again, we're tossing. Okay, you guys, so these are my meal prep containers. And as you see here, we have the fresh zoodles that we just made. This is the weight that I use that I bought from Amazon. It will be in the link below. So what we're gonna do is- This is the last of the meat that we have. Our sauce is all heat up, perfect. I'm gonna take that off the burner. We drained the water from the pan that we used to dethaw our vegetables. We're going to put it back on medium heat. We're going to throw some olive oil on there. This is the pepper and salt I use. Flavor God. We're going to sprinkle some of this. Just a reminder, Flavor God does have sodium. I'm not sure if all their seasonings do, but some of them do. So keep that in mind when it comes to the salt count when it comes to your sodium. So now we're just gonna toss it. In this we have cauliflower, zucchini, squash, cauliflower, and some broccoli. All right, you guys, let me show you what we cooked. So we have the meals as followed. Yes, there's some plates that have more vegetables than others, just because some of the plates already have zucchini in them, so we don't want to overload on the vegetables, right? So as you see, I did some shredded mozzarella. And then to the vegetables, I added some lemon juice. Of course, natural is always better, but this is what I have at the moment. Thank you guys for watching, all the love and support, and I'll see you in my next video, whether it's keto, makeup, skincare, workout. I don't know. Mm. <laughs> Bye. Oh my God. All right, you guys. All right, you guys. So, recording? Yeah, it's recording. Cool.